Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. I was just getting the lint off my diamond ring. Oh! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Lucy. Cheaters never prosper. Oh, never mind. Well, that's 3,500 to 120. We won, Viv. Okay. For the 13th week in a row. Say, Viv, what'd you make this week? Raspberry layer cake. Oh, oh it looks divine. It is divine. Oh, say, Viv, you've done it again. You're a wonderful cook, Vivian. Oh, well, my grandmother and my mother were both wonderful cooks, so I really couldn't help be a good cook. It's a family trait. Like modesty. <laughs> oh, now that's not a very nice thing to say, Lucy, just because you don't know how to cook. What do you mean, I don't know how to cook? I had a mother and a grandmother, too, you know. Oh, let's face it. The only thing you know how to cook is a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> is that so? Yes, that's so. <laughs> do you remember those chocolate brownies she made for the bazaar, that PTA bazaar girl? Oh, remember that? I remember. We made a lot of money off of them, though. We sold them for a dollar a piece to use as paperweight. <laughs> You know, I'll show you whether I can cook or not. I'll make the dessert for next week's bridge game. You'll make the dessert? Yes. Are you ready, girls? How would you like your peanut butter sandwich, with chocolate sauce or a la mode? <laughs> <laughs> out of the oven too soon, they'll fall. Viv, I'll make my cakes, you make your cakes, okay? Okay. Now, don't take that off while the cake's hot because it'll stick to the pan. I don't need any advice from the world's greatest cook. <laughs> did you put enough egg whites in the frosting? Yes, I did. Now, you can't frost a cake while it's hot. I know that. Do you want me to frost it for you? Please, Mother, I'd rather do it myself. <laughs> Not bad. You're the girls. And so, gentlemen, I suggest we approve the loan to the McQuillan Construction Company. We certainly have need here in Danfield for additional housing. <coughs> and it's... <coughs> Mrs. Hutton, I thought I told you I didn't want to be interrupted. I know, sir, but you have a very important telephone call. She says it's a matter of life or death. Oh, really? Re excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, who is it? Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> Hello. Mr. Mooney, are you still coming by my house this afternoon at 3.30 with those papers you want me to sign? Yes. Will you, will you please, will you please go by Trumbull's Bakery and would you please pick up a large sunshine cake with white icing? M Mrs. Carmichael, is this your idea of a matter of life or death? Believe me, Mr. Mooney, if I don't get that cake, I'm dead. <laughs> Look, Mrs. Carmichael, I'm in a meeting. I can't possibly Mr. go Mr. Mooney, Mr. Mooney, have I ever asked you to do me a favor before? 
Hundreds of times. Oh, well, have I ever asked you to pick up a sunshine cake with white icing before? There you have me. Good, then it's all settled. Now listen, when you get here, sneak in the kitchen door and put the cake on a plate that I'll leave there. And then come around to the front door like you just got here. Y yes, I I I'll do it. I'll do it. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Thelma Green down at the Danfield Tribune today. She said you're going to enter that pie-baking contest again this year. That's right. Yeah, well, then I may not enter. Me either. You always win, Viv. Oh, don't be such poor sport. <laughs> After all, I've only won that pie-baking contest five years in a row. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Lucy? Are you going to enter the contest? Lucy? What? Oh, she gave up after the first year. You know, she was the only contestant who forgot to turn her oven on. <laughs> well, we all make mistakes, Vivian. Oh, how about that, Kathleen? We did it again. Double and redouble. Hot dog. Oh, good, partner. We may beat him yet. What yeah. goodie did you make for dessert, Viv? Oh, I didn't make the goodie today. Don't you remember Lucille wanted to make the dessert for today? Oh, well, what are we having, Lucy? Sunshine cake with white icing. Oh, that sounds delicious. <laughs> ah, one club. Uh, pass. Lucy, don't you think it's time for you to ice your cake? No. There's no hurry. I'll, I'll do it pretty soon. One heart. Pass. One no trump. Uh, two diamonds. Lucy, while I'm dummy, I can go out and ice it for you if you want me to. No, no, I'll do it. Uh, pass. Pass. Two no trumps. <clears throat> you know, you're acting funny about that cake. Did it by any chance fall? Pass. A cake of mine fall, don't be ridiculous. Three no trumble. Trump! <laughs> pass. 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 Lucy? What? If your cake was a failure, don't be afraid to admit it. <laughs> I baked some ice cream puffs yesterday. There's several of them out in the icebox. We can have those. Viv, we are going to have a beautiful cake for dessert. We do not need your day-old baked goods. <laughs> I will match my day-old baked goods against anything you can bake. Oh, is that so? Yeah, well, that's not so. a very Girls, nice thing to please, say. Please, please. If I get a Lucy, chance, I do pretty good things out Lucy, there, but I can never get in the kitchen. Lucy, since you're the dummy, go out in the kitchen, ice the cake, bring the cake in, show it to Viv. Viv, you look at it, and stop yakking, and let's play bridge, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lucy, go ice the cake. Afternoon. I never had such bad hands. 
I thought perhaps we could, you know, play a few more because we're on such a winning streak. What are you doing with my cake? I'm just trying to help out. Well, uh, I'll decide when it's time to eat, and it's not time yet. Lucy, the game's over. It is two time. Yeah, I'm sorry, on, Lucy. It's time for dessert. I just don't think it's time to eat yet. Oh, it's Mr. Mooney. Oh. Well, by George, maybe it is time to eat. Hi there, Mr. Oh, Mooney. Hi, Mr. Mooney. Hi, Mr. Mooney. Nice to see you. You're, you're just in time for a nice piece of cake. Oh, Lucy, that cake's so beautiful, it's a shame to cut it. Oh. <laughs> You know, if I hadn't seen you bake that with my own eyes, I'd swear you bought it at Trumbull's Bakery. Why do you say that? Uh, that's impossible. I just passed there. It's closed. See? <laughs> closed? <laughs> that's right. Uh, uh, you know something, Audrey? You're right. It's a shame to cut this. Why don't we have some of his lovely cream puffs? But you said they were day-old baked goods. Sure, but everybody knows that cream puffs improve with age. Now, Lucy, come on, cut the cake. Viv, we are not going to cut this cake, so let go. Oh, I will not let go. I think there's some reason you don't want us to cut that cake. What do you mean by that? <laughs> It fell. I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. So that's when I saw the wastebasket in the kitchen. I thought somebody would run over a volleyball. <laughs> you don't have to worry about our diets, Lucy. This cake is not that neat. Go ahead and laugh. Go ahead and laugh. Look, I'm going to show you that I can cook. I'm going to. I'm going to enter that pie baking contest, and I'm going to win it. Oh, you're going to win. Yes, I'm going to win it, Vivian. And Mrs. Carmichael. What? Are you still here? <laughs> Please, Sandy's. Mr. Mooney, you can have a lovely piece of sunshine cake if you happen to have a can opener on you. <laughs> Will you stop that, Vivian? <laughs> I didn't know there were people who were going to be here. Oh, yes, we have an audience every year. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget to turn your oven on. <laughs> oh, I will. Oh, hello. Hello, Eva. Good luck, champ. Oh, thank you. Who's that? That, that woman's been here every year since the very first year. She's one of my most loyal fans. Sweet. <laughs> attention. Attention, everyone. Attention. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen and contestants, to the sixth annual pie baking contest. Now, as you know, we are honored to have in our midst a five-time winner. Let's give a nice hand to Vivian Bagley. <laughs> now, each contestant is using her own recipe. The ingredients you requested are at your place, girls. That's it. Now, assisting me this year in judging this contest is one of Danfield's most distinguished citizens, Theodore Mooney. Oh, Mooney! No, with Mr. Mooney, one of the judges, I don't stand a chance. Oh, they don't put the names on the pies. They just use numbers so they can be impartial. Oh, well, then I've got as much chance as anybody else. Yes, you have a big chance until the judges taste your pie. <laughs> now, ladies, is everything arranged the way you want it? Now, remember, we all start together at the signal. <laughs> and may the best pie win.
trouble? <laughs> the best bunch of pies we've ever had. My. Now, maybe you'd like to freshen up just a wee bit because the photographer's going to want to take some pictures. And right after that, we're going to start the judging. Isn't mine pretty? Number nine is in the bag. Well, I haven't got a chance. My pie turned out to be a complete failure. Really? Dodgers turn out, Kathleen. Oh, it's the best pie I ever made. Oh. Maybe you'll win. No, I won't. Looks so good, I ate it. Oh. <laughs> Which one's yours, Lucy? Mine is number eight, right here. And mine is number nine. Oh, they look alike. Well, they may look alike, but that one has a crust of pure cardboard. <laughs> well, I don't know about that now, Vivian. My crust wasn't so bad. And you did remember to turn on the oven. <laughs> then stop picking on Lucy. Yeah, she still has a chance. I mean, the contest isn't over yet. Well, it might as well be. Viv will probably win anyway. After all, she is the best cook in town. I don't know why I even try. Well... I think I'll go back and fix my face. If I'm going to be a loser, I don't want to be a loser with a shiny nose. <laughs> oh, poor Lucy. I wish by some miracle she could win. So do I. I can top that. So do I. Really, then? Oh, the poor little thing. I shouldn't have picked on her like that. I feel like a heel. Well, it's in the hands of the judges now. Let's go get ready for the photographers. Yeah. is heavenly. Uh, uh, Mr. Mooney, the contest. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, which one do you think is the winner? There isn't any doubt about it. This is it. Oh, that one gets my vote, too. Good, good. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is number eight. Oh. Eight! Oh. That's me! Oh. I'm really glad you won. Thank you, thank you. On behalf of the Danfield Tribune, it gives me great pleasure to present you with this gold cup for the best pie in the contest. Oh, thank you. Uh, may I add the best piece of pie I ever put in my mouth? Oh, thank you, Mr. Moon. Thank you. Oh, 
Doc, would you care to say a few words? Tell us how it feels to win the cup? Oh, no, I couldn't. I, I was just lucky, that's oh, all. Well, all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen... Well, maybe I... a word or two. <laughs> I, I do want to thank everyone who was pulling for me, and I want to say that I had the stiffest competition that I have ever encountered, especially from the winner of the last five years, Vivian Bagley. <laughs> I almost didn't enter this year, you know, because I didn't want to compete with Mrs. Bagley and jeopardize our friendship. <laughs> but then, because of my friendship for Mrs. Bagley, I decided to give her some competition so that when she won, she'd have a real victory. <laughs> of course, she didn't win, she lost, but, uh, well, that's how the pie dough crumbles. <laughs> So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a real thrill. I'd forgotten how insufferable you become with just a little success. What are you talking about? Well, you can keep the cup if you want to, but there's something I think you should know. I switched the pie, so the pie that really won was mine. You switched the pies. Yes, I did. Well, I switched them, too, and then I felt guilty, and I switched them back so my pie really won. Now, this is my pie. I know it anywhere, and this is the pie that won. This is your pie, Lucille. That is my pie. <laughs> this is not your pie. It is mine. No, that one is mine. This is mine, and this is the pie that won, Vivian. That is my pie, so give it to me. Oh, wouldn't I love it? <laughs> you wouldn't stay. Oh, wouldn't oh, I? Oh, no, so you would. Lucy, Lucy, the photographer would like to take a picture of you with your pie. Oh. All right, thank you. And, and I think that last year's winner should be in it, too. Come on, Viv, honey. Oh, wonderful. Uh, Mr. Mooney, would you come up here with the girls, please? Oh, yes. Down here. Yes. Uh, Mr. Mooney, would you hold the cup? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You can sort of be presenting it to oh, me, you yes, know. Oh, yes. I really should be holding the pie. <laughs> uh, Viv, I'm the one who won the cup. Well, I'm the one who made the pie. Vivian, will you give me that, please? No, I won't. It's mine. It's mine. Will you give it to me, please? All right. <laughs> 